All right, what is up everyone? Welcome to Wedding Video Pro. I'm Jake Weisler and I'm excited to have you on board. I've been working very hard with Parker to make this a course that will answer all the questions you have about wedding videography. I spent the last six months gathering information from my followers and other wedding videographers on questions they all have about shooting weddings. I've compiled all of my answers into this course and I am excited to show them to you. The thing is, there are so many right ways to shoot weddings. There are so many right ways to run your business. Don't let anyone ever tell you that there is only one best Best way to do it. Everyone is different, everyone has different strengths, and everyone can succeed doing business differently. What I'm going to teach you in this course is how I do business, how I shoot weddings, and I'm confident from the experiences I have had over the last few years, I'll be able to answer any questions you have, and we can learn and grow together. So what got me started? So in high school, my little brother and I made a YouTube channel and filmed comedy sketches, which evolved into us doing short films, client work, and small little film contests. I had big aspirations to be a big Hollywood director like Peter Jackson or Christopher Nolan. But after sitting down with myself and thinking of what it would actually take to get to that point, I instantly realized that my passion was not up to the task. Around my senior year, I just decided to give it up and try other things. After senior year, my wife's sister got married and I decided to film it for fun. My very first wedding ever and I felt more like a guest capturing footage of what was happening than an actual videographer creating a cinematic film. I had no idea that one day I'd be filming hundreds of weddings and talking to you guys about how to do it. So after that wedding, I put my camera away and went on a two year church mission trip to Philadelphia. Out in Philadelphia, I kind of lost my passion for filmmaking. I didn't really think it's what I wanted to do long term. And I thought, hey, maybe I'll get into business. Maybe when I get home, I'll go to college and become a CEO of something. I had zero clarity. In October of 2016, I returned home from Philadelphia and my friend's sister asked me to film her wedding. And I really had no interest, mainly because I had zero confidence in my abilities as a wedding videographer, but they offered me four 400 bucks, so yeah, I took it as a broke 20 year old kid. In January of 2017, I filmed her wedding and honestly, I loved doing it. They were an awesome couple, had a party of a wedding and gorgeous details. And then there was me on my Canon T2i and a $20 Nikkor 50 millimeter lens with a crappy shoulder rig. But the bottom line was, I loved it. I edited their wedding video that week and decided to start an Instagram account. I wasn't really sure how the business worked. I honestly was oblivious to how big the business of wedding videography actually was, but I started an Instagram Instagram account nonetheless to get my name out there and honestly I just hope for the best. Around the same time I started college and proposed to my beautiful wife. I knew I was going to marry her but I had zero idea why I was in college. It was a painful semester and it cost me a ton of money for nothing in return. I was working two jobs, one as a church missionary teacher and another as an online digitizer who digitized documents all day. And on top of that I was trying to convince people to let me film stuff for them and my fruits were few. One good friend let me film her wedding in Idaho for 300 bucks. I had no idea what I was doing, but I did my best. Not super proud of it, but they loved it and we all start somewhere. Then two other friends let me film the proposals, which turned out pretty good, but I had no direction on where I wanted to go. I had no idea what I wanted to be. And again, I had zero clarity. I got married that May in 2017. Best day of my life. We love our wedding video. It captured everything we wanted. And after I got married, I quickly realized how broke I was. My teaching job paid just enough to cover rent and my online job covered everything else. There was no wiggle room. I decided to take a break from college and work harder to save more money for my new family. It was around this time that I was on Facebook and saw an ad for Full Time Filmmaker. A crash course of videography taught by the legend himself, Parker Walbeck. Wow. Yeah. I was hooked. He had a free webinar that I jumped right in, watched a few times, fangirled over, and finally invested in his course. I asked my dad for a loan to upgrade my equipment because I needed it badly. The biggest thing Parker taught that stuck with me was that if I expected other people to invest in me as a business, I needed to be willing to invest in myself. So I did. I went into thousands of dollars of debt to get a 5D Mark IV, 24 70 millimeter lens, and a glide cam, and I worked my butt off. My friends whose proposal I filmed, asked me to do their wedding, and it was stunning. Their video became my bread and butter. That summer, I worked nonstop to make this videography thing work. I pushed that bridal video at everybody I could. I reached out to all my friends who were getting married and filmed all of their weddings for super cheap prices. I joined tons of Facebook groups for local Utah vendors. I followed people on Instagram who I wanted to be like, and most importantly, I got a mentor. I dove into Parker's course like my life depended on it, because financially, it did. I would watch and rewatch and practice and repractice every single thing Parker taught. I had to, I had no other option. This thing needed to work and I was quickly falling in love with it. I remember the day 
I booked an $800 real estate gig, which was a month's salary at my teaching job. And that moment, I just saw it. I saw the potential, I saw Jake Weisler films big and bold, and once I caught hold of that vision, everything took off. Long story short, I quit my jobs because videography started to pay more within just three months. I got the job Shadow Parker in person a couple of times, which led to a part-time position helping him with the back end of his business, which led to amazing opportunities and learning closely from him all over the world, which led to a full-time job with him, which led to me creating this course for you guys, which led to me being happy and fulfilled in my life. Parker helped me grow my business and my confidence. He would regularly tell me to raise my prices, push myself more, and to stop doing things that were wasting my time. And also, more importantly, how to use my camera in the most efficient way. And that's what we want this course to be for you guys. We want you to walk away from Wedding Video Pro knowing exactly how to use your equipment and how to make money off it, how to find clients, and more importantly, how to get clients to find you, and how to shoot and edit stunning wedding videos regardless of the venue or the couple. We're here for you, I'm here for you, and let me just say that I am not an expert. I'm not the wedding videographer yet. I'm striving to be, but I believe that the knowledge I have and the experience I have with wedding videography is enough to get you on your feet and to create a six-figure business. Yes, six figures. Last year, that was my goal, and I hit it in only my second year as a videographer, and you can too. And again, I'll say it here at the beginning, and I'll say it a thousand times throughout the course. This course is Parker and I teaching how we film weddings, how we market ourselves, and how we edit. This is the way that works for us. There are millions of ways to be successful wedding videographers. We're just teaching you one of those millions of ways, and we'll leave it up to you to take what you learn and mold it into your own style and your own business. So dive in, enjoy it, and if you guys have any further questions, please let me know.